ladies and gentlemen, how we doing out there? We are live. Let's just sort this camera out a little bit. There we go. How are we all doing tonight at the end of a Sunday? Oh, welcome back. This is the Max Power Channel. My name is Mac10, and today, tonight even, we are opening these bad boys. One whole box, Footy Stars 2021 Prestige. Oh, they're finally here. I went through the absolute ringer getting these bad boys delivered. Um, it was a bit of a nightmare, actually. We'll uh, we'll get into that a little bit later, maybe. But uh, guys, while you're here, just a uh, just don't forget to uh, give us a follow on the Twitch if you're watching, and uh, hit us up on all the socials as well. Um, all our card streams that we do end up on the YouTube, which is just uh, search for Max Power under Channels, and you should find the little uh, the little rock and roll logo there. Uh, so all the ones, once we finish doing them on Twitch, we always uh, I'll always load them up onto YouTube uh, about a day or so after, just sort of when I get around to it. Uh, but they all are there if you want to. After this one, you can go back, and we've done two boxes of just the regular footy stars with uh, varying amounts of success. But uh, but here we are, big weekend of footy, a lot of a uh, lot of big fantasy scores from what I've seen getting around this week. I thought I was doing all right until I uh, until I see what some other people have been doing. Um, so without further ado, let's get right into it. Twenty one prestige, even the box looks nicer, doesn't it? Uh, also, guys, just while uh, we're opening these up, we're just going to use our, uh, our little cheese guillotine there. Open these up. Sound off in the chat if you're here. Let's do a quick roll call. Oh, I've already busted that. Lovely. So let's just get these open and look at these sexy mummers. So you get 24 packs in these ones. So it's uh, 12, 12 packs down from uh, from the footy stars, which the regular footy stars, which are 36 packs. We'll keep our little box off to the side. We've got our. Uh, we got our top loaders, we got our sleeves ready. We're going to cut this deck a few times, jumble these up a little bit. Hopefully there's a Dusty Martin marquee in here somewhere. That is why we're here. That's what we're after. That's the one we're chasing. But we'll see how we go. Oh, first things first though. Oh, cheers. Oh, all right. So for uh, for anyone who hasn't seen these ones before, what we're going to do, we'll go through the first few packs with all the commons and stuff. Um, I believe there is a, a hit rate of about three base only packs in each box, so uh, where there's no hits in it at all. Uh, but we're really looking out for the um, Brownlow leaders. That's one in every two boxes. Uh, we should definitely get a clearance king, which is one per box, a bit like the uh, the bang card hits in the regular footy stars. Uh, Platinum Brownlow predictors. They're one in every four box. And then the big ones, the marquees, which are one in every 12 boxes. Uh, I did manage to get my hands on two boxes from Select. Um, couldn't really justify spending the money on four, to be honest. But uh, hopefully we get a good return on investment. And uh, here we go, pack number one. For those of you who haven't seen these ones, the uh, the commons are quite nice. They're all in a very nice reflective silver there. We're going to go one, two, three to the front. All right, here we go. Look at that. Andy McGrath straight off the bat. See, they're nice looking cards, aren't they? Oh, look, I can almost see up my own nose on the, uh, on the reflection there. That's pretty good. All right, so Andy McGrath, Cam Rayner, Maxi King. Robbie Tarrant, Tom Stewart, Brainerd Maynard, Jacob Wiedering, and we've got the Trent Cochin Game Breaker. So these ones, if you haven't seen them yet, they're very much like the Game Breakers from the regular Footy Stars, except they've got this nice sort of uh, rainbow foil type deal to them, which are, which are pretty cool. They're, uh, they're a nice looking card. They've done well there. We're just going to rest him up there. There we go. All right, rubbish in the bin. I am learning that when I don't come out of this, I've got cards and empty packets of, uh, of everything everywhere. So yeah, hope you're, uh, hope you're tipping and your fantasy and all that stuff went well over the weekend. Uh, had any big movers? Post it in the chat. 
All right, one, two, three to the front. And we'll start off with a little bit of Brody Smith action. Jakey Stringer. Hey, that's one for the, uh, another one for the Lamb Van there in the chat, mate. Nice little uh, Jake Stringer common there. We'll keep, work, keep on moving. Got Xavier Dersma. LDU. Sam Menegola. Ben King. Oh, and there's our first hit of the day. Nice Max King Orange Parallel. Uh, so the Orange Parallels, we should get about four of these in the box. Uh, so it's one in, e in every six packs. So we should we should be guaranteed four of these. And then we've got Eric Hipwood at the back. Let's just check the number on these ones. These are all numbered. So there we are, 141 of 210. Nice little, uh, nice little first hit of the night. Lamb Van, welcome, mate. How did your, uh, how did all your uh, super coaching go this weekend, mate? I think you had a bit of a win in the league, if I remember correctly. So two packs in. We've already got one of our orange parallels. So we get the orange parallels. We should get four of those. Blues, we should get either uh, two or maybe three if we're lucky. And a green, we should definitely get. Uh, get one green per packet one two three to the front nice bit of big gov action could have used him today west coast were uh west coast were pretty average today but that's you can't win them all jackie rewalt aaron norton rory lob was it a mark or was it not a mark the rory lob of the uh frio game the other night took miller jaeger Cal Ward and Ollie Wine. So that's a base pack. Commons only. Uh, I'm assured that we should get a full set of commons in each box. It should be pretty cool. Alright, come here, you bloody buggers of things. Alright. One, two, three to the front. Deal Shield. Lockie Neal, Brad Hill, Jack Viney, Bailey Scott, Harry McKay. Oi! All right, Clearance Kings, Taylor Adams. All right, that's a good one. That's our that's our box hit for this. That's our one guaranteed box hit. Let's check the number on that. One eighteen again of one twenty. So not the lowest or best number. But we'll definitely load this guy up into a little uh, sleeve and top loader. So yeah, the Clearance King is essentially the bang card. So one per box. Get this in there. You can just take a nice little position there too. The focus isn't too good on those. I don't know what's going on there. But we will soldier on. We will soldier on. So as you're uh, hoping to see a few Essendon cards on the uh, on the go here, Lamb Van. One, two, three to the front. All right. Easy Hipwood. Brody Smith. Jakey Stringer again. Another one for the Lamb Van. Big Brody Grundy went off today with a 140 odd, I think. Memory serves me correctly. Super Coach Fife. He also had a good one. James Harms, and we got our. Lucky Hunter there, which we won't worry about. We got our nice Matt Crouch game breaker. Again, looks really, really smick with the uh, with the rainbow foil there. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So this is the first uh, the first prestige I've had the pleasure of opening. I've uh, I've watched a few people open some online as well. Uh, seems to be some good hits getting around. Yet to see a Dusty Marquee. I think I've seen one on some of the uh, trading pages out there on uh, Facebook Marketplace. But uh, the package, yeah, indeed. Uh, but yeah, really hoping. I haven't seen the uh, the Dusty Martin jumper number marquee pop up yet. So uh, it's still out there. As far as I know, it's definitely still out there. Over here we go. A bit of JPK. The human meatball. Dion Prestia. Tim Kelly in some ripping form was probably our best player today in a in a pretty average average 
performance by most of them. Scotty Pendles, Sun Sun Walters, Jared Harbrow. We got Liam Shields. And we got another game breaker, Jack Billings. Again, very nice. Very nice indeed. We're just going to stack those up there. Whew. All right, so we're what? Five packs in, roughly? Yeah, five packs in. We got our six packs in, sorry. So we got our three game breakers. We got our uh, Max King Orange Parallel and our Taylor Adams Clearance King. So we still got a fair bit guaranteed to come, which is good. One, two, three at the front. Just keeps all the hits at the back, you know, build that tension. <laughs> all right, here we go. We got Rosa Laird, Martin Gleason. What's a bloody Martin Gleason? Tom Lynch, Paddy Dramafield, Levi Casbolt, Sammy Frost, and another game breaker again. We're getting uh, we're getting these game breakers. What have we got the last one here? Oh, nice little bit of Dan Rich action. Uh, again, game breakers. Jaeger and Mira. Not numbered these ones, so we don't need to check that. We just uh, we just stack them up in the pile there. Uh, I'd like to get a full set of those, but I believe there's about 60 or 80 of the uh, prestige game breakers. So that's that's a lot of cards. Given that you're really only getting uh, Oh, what is it? Like one in every four or five packs or something? You're gonna uh, you have to buy a lot of boxes to get get through those. That's where a lot of these uh, trading card sites on uh, on on Facebook Marketplace and stuff come in handy. The, the groups there. One, two, three to the front. Cool thing about these is they've actually knocked the amount of uh, commons down. So there used to be, in the regular Footy Stars, there was uh, ten ten per team. Uh, now, if you can imagine, if you're the kind of person who likes to, uh, you know, file their cards into sleeves and have them all nice and organised and all that sort of thing, ten per team can be really annoying when you're trying to uh, trying to put them in a nine nine card sleeve. So uh, they brought it back down to nine for these ones. So uh, they should fit your files nice and well if that's what you're into. Right, moving along to the next packet, we got the Inferior Jones, or is he the Superior Jones now? It's really really not sure. Zach Jones, anyway. Dane Rampey, Jackie D, Brandon Ellis, Andy Brayshaw, Nick Haynes. I heard Nick Haynes called Jared Haynes today on the broadcast, which was interesting. I'm uh, pretty sure he's uh, otherwise occupied as far as uh, playing footy, but anyway. Big Maxi gone, Travis Boak, and that's our last one for that one. So that's another base pack. Again, like I said, I think we're uh, I think we should be expecting three or four base packs only. So uh, so you know that's just how that works. Um, it's a bit of a bummer, you know, but it's, essentially, I guess it just leads to your hits having better rarity, and it also lets you get the entire set as well. So I think uh, 24 times nine, or however it works out, the amount of cards you need to get the full set. I think they have to make it so you have a couple of the uh, a couple of the base packs in there as well, mixed in with all your good ones. All right, and moving on to the next one, we've done our three to the front. We got Mitch Wallace. Unbelievable that he can't get a game. Vice captain playing in the VFL, just on form. Humor Gluggage. Good personality, Tom Lynch. Ben Cunnington. Now I don't know about you. I feel like Ben Cunnington has far less hair than that. Anyway. Taylor Adams, Jack Martin, Cam Guthrie, and oh, all right, there is our green parallel. One of these in every box. That's a, uh, a one box hit. Steve May, is it going to be number one? Oh, it's not a bad one though. Number nine, not quite the jumbo number that we want, but still considered a... Uh, low number hit i think by uh select so that does add a little bit of value being under 10. we'll chuck that in having a good year so far uh stephen may it was very very uh cheap and super coach a couple of weeks ago when i picked him up and it was bloody good so there we have it that's our green parallel really nice looking cards these ones 
Really cool. Let's put that up there with the rest of these bad boys. Clean up our mess a little bit. So yeah, I, it, the Green Parallels, it does say it's one in every 21 packs. So I, I haven't seen anyone get two, but mathematically it must be possible, giving, given that you have a 24... Uh, pack box. Uh, let me know if you know better than me in the comments. Um, is it possible to get two green parallels in a box of prestige? <sighs> On the fizzes tonight, Lamb Van, you'd be happy, mate. Bloody good stuff. Alright, we're getting towards the end of our first stack. We've got two packs left after this one in the first stack. We'll do our one, two, three to the front. A little bit of Josh Kennedy action. Little Potato, Caleb Daniel. Shane Edwards. Will Day. Dave Mundy, Methuselah Mundy. Jack Bowes. And we've got the Christian Petraka Game Breaker. Rainbow Foil. And just at the back there, a little bit of Jordan Dawson. He had a good week this week. I believe he turned up in, uh, across the formats, which is uh, maybe for the first time this year. Not sure. Not quite sure about that, but uh, could be a good buy low at the moment, actually, to be honest. Alrighty. One, two, three to the front. Zave Dersma, Basha Hooley, Seb Ross, LDU again, Sam Menegola again, Ben King, Jimmy Warple, and hey, alright, we got the Jaeger O'Meara Blue Parallel, uh, first blue parallel, blue parallel we've pulled today, I mean obviously you can uh, see the rest of them there, but uh, should have another one or two of these if we're lucky. Are we going to get the jumper number, the number 10? And not too bad. 26. Sort of doesn't really matter unless it's sort of under 10 or a jumper number. Again, just from what I believe. If I'm wrong, let me know. We're just going to uh, sleeve this guy straight up. Man, these parallels look so good. I think the, I think the blues are my favourite. I think they look the best, you know? We'll just get him in there. All right, so there we go. So, so far we've got one more pack to go in our uh, first stack. Loving the fizzes, mate. Yeah, I got. A, I think I've still got a, a, a flamingo in the fridge, I think, Lammy. Um, I don't think I drank them all today while uh, drowning my sorrows with uh, my pathetic football team. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so a little quick quick summary of what we got so far. So we've got our uh, our two sort of guaranteed box hits in our Clearance King, uh, Taylor Adams, and our Stephen May Green Parallel, uh, and then our Max King Orange Parallel, Jaeger O'Meara Blue Parallel. We should have uh, one more blue and a couple more orange, maybe maybe even three more orange, to be honest. Um, I believe they're one in every six packs, so we should uh, we should definitely have, a, have another few. This is the last packet of this half of the box, guys. We are halfway through. One, two, three to the front. Oh, and we're bringing it in with a gun. Probably, this guy probably had his best game of the year. I think this is the best I've seen him play for a long time today. Um, our boy, Nick Nat. Mate, he was uh, he was unreal today, taking running bounces through the middle of uh, is it Spotless Stadium or Giant Stadium or whatever they call that shithole of an oval uh, that no one ever goes to. <laughs> uh, anyway, moving right along, we got Nick Nat, we got Luke Parker, Jack McRae, surely in the conversation for pig status uh, over on DT Talk for uh, for anyone who's uh, in that scene. Uh, Sean Atley, Jack Crisp, Toby Green. Angus Brayshaw, and there we have our next orange parallel, Jai Simpkin from North Melbourne. Are we going to hit that number 12 on the back, that jumper number? Ba -ba -ba -da! 17. Oh, I feel like we're getting so close on some of these. Not bad, not bad. We'll sleeve him up. I'm not quite sure what's going on with Jai Simpkin this year. He's, uh, 
had an absolute one out of the box last season, and I, uh, I don't know. I feel like he really hasn't hit the heights that he did last year. Maybe it's just with North Melbourne just being an absolute basket case and full-blown garbage. Maybe that's why. You know, I don't. I think you know if Jack Zebel's getting all the footy, he's probably got bigger problems than uh, than that. Anyway, we're halfway through now, guys. That was the uh, that was the first stack of packs. We do still have all these bad boys to go. Did I get it in half two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve? So yes, we're exactly halfway through. Let's keep going. There's a marquee in here somewhere. I'm sure of it. Alrighty. One, two, three to the front. And we will start it off on this one with Trent Cochin, Isaac Heaney, DBJ, Nathan Wilson, Jai Simkin again, Josh Kelly, and what have we got here? The Ollie Wines, Game Breakers. Very nice. And what have we got here as well? Oh, the Bont. Making a nice little guest appearance at the end there. So uh, one thing you can see is the, uh, here we go, we can put these next to each other. That's the uh, the parallels next to the uh, next to the standard commons. Very nice. Let's chuck you back up there. And moving right along. Oh, more of these. So I'm not too sure when we'll do the second box. Uh, hopefully, maybe over in the next couple of days, we'll uh, we'll find some time to get it done. We've got one, two, three to the front. All right, we'll start it off. Tommy Papley, Jared Lyons, Tex Walker, back in a little bit of form this week. Jordan Degoe, you can get in the bin. Jack Zebel, Adam Chera, and oh, well, this is our next blue parallel. Look at that. LDU. Not too bad, not too bad. And just what we got, we got a little Dan Butler action at the back there. All right, so we're looking for number nine. Number 98. That was way off. <laughs> ah, very good, very good. So, technically. We should have one more orange parallel and maybe one more blue parallel if we're lucky. Um, I hope we got something because we got a few. Uh, we got a fair few packs left, so uh, hoping they're not all just game breakers and base packs. And uh, maybe we got another good box hit in here somewhere. I don't mind our chances at getting a Brownlow leader. That's a one in every two box. So technically, every box you open, you got a 50-50 shot at getting one. One, two, three to the front. Oh, we're starting it off with this one for the Lamb Van. Your man, Dyson Heppel. Maddie Crouch. Harris Andrews. Ed Langdon. Joel Selwood. Jamie Elliott. Dave Swallow. And at the back, Jack Steele. That's it. That's a base pack. All right. Bloody base packs. Keep on tearing through these. One, two, and three to the front. All right, big JJ. There's our Dusty, Dusty Common, Andrew Gaff, Jack Gunston, Caleb Sarong, Ed Kerno, Zach Tui, and hey! All right, so that is our third blue parallel so technically we've done pretty good these are a one in ten packets so uh UDL worth more than <laughs> yeah that's right uh so these ones uh yeah these ones are one in every ten packs so for a 24 pack the fact that we got three a 24 pack box the fact that we've got three of these is pretty good the moment of truth is it a jumper number it is most certainly not. Number 119 out of 125. Ain't no biggie there. We'll just sleeve it up. Well, if we can get this sleeve to work. There we go. Jack Rewalt, you can just go there on top of your mate LDU. 
So, not too bad, not too bad. we still got two, four, six, eight packets left. And I, I don't know, I can't, I mean, we're going to get some game breakers, sure. Um, hopefully they're not all base and we don't just get a uh, regular old one hit wonder box. Uh, fine if we do, because we do have another box here. Maybe our dusty marquee is hiding in that one. One, two, three to the front. All right. Let's keep on keeping on. Rowan Marshall. Lance Franklin. Rory Sloan. Stephen May. That We can just uh, have a little look there next to our green parallel. Not too badly. Harry Perryman. Taron Thomas. And we've got the Luke Parker, Rainbow Foil Game Breaker. And then at the back, everybody is Butters. Well, that's him. Zach Butters. Lamb Van, still a nice card, though. Yeah, it is, man. The blue the blue parallels look really nice. I definitely think they're my favorite. Uh, the oranges, eh, I'll take them or leave them. Uh, and even the greens. The greens are not as nice, I would have thought. But, uh... Obviously, with much higher rarity, they're, uh, they're the ones you want. Alright, one, two, three to the front. And we bring it in with some Robbie Gray. He had a pretty good game today from what I saw. Uh, really got Collingwood back in it in the, uh, in the second half there. Kane Lambert. David Zaharakis. Lockie Weller. The Tomahawk. Chad Wingard. Paddy Cripps and Brandon Parfit Game Breaker. All right. I'm a bit excited. I've got another parcel on the way, which I'm going to go pick up from the post office tomorrow. That is my new Footy Stars file and about 109 card uh, sleeves. So I'm looking forward to getting my whole set of commons filed away and organized nicely so I can do something with all my doubles and uh, save a bit of space in the... Uh, studio here <laughs> all right one two and three to the front started off with the harley davidson rider himself sir charles cameron luke brown damn does luke brown still play footy shit shannon hearn he deserved better today broke the west coast record uh games played record overtook dean cox for 291 games and we decided to pull out one of those performances where we just don't turn up probably deserve better for such a such a you know an ex-captain a stalwart of the club Mitchy duncan john noble sam collins the pig oink oink tom mitchell and we've got our jared lyons orange parallel that's a nice one are we going to get that 17 we are not that's okay though that is okay that's nice though that's a good one i don't mind that don't mind that at all all right so we've sort of got all our standard hits we've got our extra blue parallel which i believe probably means that uh that's probably going to be it for the big hits um, but I could be wrong. I've, uh, I was watching, um, oh, what's his name? Who does basically I open cards on YouTube. Uh, great channel. If you're, uh, if you're, if you like watching people open things at cards, he's, uh, that's a pretty good channel for it. Hence the name. Um, but I think he has a bit of a greater understanding of the distribution of, uh, of cards and hits through the boxes. And I think he was saying, if you get the extra blue parallel, you might lose out on another box hit. And that's kind of how it works. But, I've never spoken to him, and he might be full of shit. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, next packet. This is, we got, uh, this packet that we got here, and then we got another four packs. So, uh, there's still some hope for us yet. Started off with another gun. Zach Merritt. Nick Vlosten. The Pig. Tom Rockcliffe. Luke Ryan. Steel Front Bum. Sam Doherty. Sick Dog gets a card and he hasn't played a game this year. Dane Zorko, and that is a base pack. These cards are really nice. I really I like what they've done with the uh, with the reflective backgrounds and the and the nice sort of mirrored look. They do look prestigious, I suppose you'd call them. <laughs> oh, so yeah, we had such a hard time getting these. We're um, ordered uh, waited in line. 
I got up early, got online, sorry, and uh, sat there at the select website and waited till the nine o'clock uh, sale time started and sitting there waiting. And then as they went on sale, I realized that I hadn't actually signed in. I hadn't logged into the site. So I had to log in, quickly try and buy two boxes. And in the time it took me to log in, all the allocation for the morning session had sold in what could only be described as about 95 seconds. Um, so we were uh, much better prepared on the second release uh, that night. I think it was a, a Sunday or a Monday night at about six o'clock and uh, we managed to secure our two boxes and I think that was on, God, that must have been, what was that, the 1st of May? Uh, and then they were released to the public on the 7th and I've only just got them on Friday, which was the 20th. So it pretty much took me took them two weeks to get here. Um, there was a little bit of back and forth. Sendal had uh, lost the parcel, then found the parcel, and then tried to deliver them. Then the courier company, because courier company is in Perth, especially when you live in an apartment, and there's no way they can just leave your parcel, obviously took it to their depot, which is miles away. Um, anyway, long story short, it was an absolute pain in the ass, but we got them, and we got there. We're on to the fourth last pack. One, two, three, and a four to the front. Let's see what we got here. Timmy English. Dom Sheed. Now this guy, oh my god, he had a last quarter to forget today. But he gets an instant pass. Runs on the bank, winning a flag. That'll do it. Jake Lloyd. Riley O'Brien. Jared Witts. Christian Petraka. Tim Taranto, and... Oh, okay. I thought we'd gotten all these, but obviously not. So that's our next orange parallel, Rory Lobb, Fremantle, and 170 of 110. Not the number we're after, but again, just very happy to finally be opening some prestige. And we'll just chuck that one down there. All righty. Oh, third last pack. Third last pack. We're, uh, hope is running out. One, two, three. Three to the front. We got Jack Billings, Callum Mills, Lockie Hunter, Steve Canelio, Brody Grundy, Nat Fife, goal kicking specialist, and James Harms, and Elliot Yo. All right. One more base pack. Great to see Elliot Yo playing some footy in the waffle again. Really looking forward to him getting back in the side. Could have done with him today against that bloody Giants midfield, that's for sure. Second last pack, guys. And we'll go through, we'll uh, we'll run through our, um, our hits and what we've got. So, three to the front, and there's our checklist card. Footy Stars 2021 Prestige, and you can see on the back here, this has all the details for uh, just the rarity and stuff like that. I'm not sure if you can really read that, but there it is. I have seen people getting parallels of the checklist card. I think that's very cool. Uh, I did see a green parallel checklist card out there, which was pretty dope. I was uh, very jealous of the person who pulled that one. Quite cool. All right. We got Darcy Parrish. Hasn't he turned a corner this year? Amazing what happens when you play players in their best position, isn't it? Bailey Smith. Brian Myers. Mark Murphy. Nathan Jones. Lockie Whitfield. Connor Rose. And that's another base pack. I think, well, the checklist card, I think, is what counts as our hit there. And we are on to the lucky last packet. The lucky last. Mwah. Give it a little kiss. <sighs> Let's blow on it. Not like that. Don't be gross. And what have we got here? Alright, one, two, and three to the front. Charlie Dixon. Dan Han, Michael Hurley, Clayton Oliver was my captain today in Supercoach with a 205 or 204. That's a 408 point captain score. Thank you very much, Clary. Froggy Jamont, 
Jacob Hopper had a really good game today. Sam Walsh has a good game most weeks. Hey! Oh, and the lucky last card. We got that hit! Look at that. Luke Parker, Platinum Brownlow Predictor. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That is an extra hit. We will take that. So, these are a one in every four box hit. Uh, let's just, before we sleeve him up, let's just see what we got on the back. 27. Now, I don't think... What is Luke Parker's jumper number? I don't think it's... I think it's 26, isn't it? God damn, that's close. But that is okay. We will take that one all the way to the bank. We're going to sleeve him up. And he even gets a top loader. The very last card of the day. Amazing. That is an extra box hit. So we've done pretty well. There it is. <laughs> Fell at Paul Ruse then. Here it is. Nice, like, nice Luke Parker uh, Brownlow Platinum Predictor there. Let's get rid of this. These can move over. And he can just get right in the center there. And that's it. That is it. That is one box of 2021 Select Footy Stars Prestige Down. Whew, it's time to just sit back for a moment. Let's just admire our hits. We'll go through them all in, a, in just a second. I can't believe that. That's so good. The very last card, and we get another box hit. Uh, so what did we we did pretty well. We got the we got the extra blue parallel. We got the extra box hit. We got a couple of low numbers there. We've done very well today. Yeah, he is 26. Yeah, thanks for checking that lamb van. Um, yeah, so close, so close. Uh, the cool thing with the Brownlow predictors, and I think it's the same as the uh, Premiership predictors, Coleman predictors in the standard uh, footy stars packets, is that, uh, that if they win, you can actually, uh, maybe just, not the Premiership, sorry, just the Colemans and the Brownlows, that if they win it, you can actually send the card off them to, uh, to get signed, and then they'll send it back to you. It's very cool. So uh, what we're going to do... We're going to take all these away and we'll just do a quick recap of what we pulled today. Start off with just our regular old game breakers. So we got the Brandon Parfit, Luke Parker, Ollie Wines, Christian Petraka, very nice, Jaeger O'Meara, Jack Billings, Maddie Crouch. And Trent Cochin. They were our game breakers. So what was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those. So I think the full set of game breakers is about 80. So you'd need to buy like 10 boxes. Which when they put a purchase limit of two per household, uh, four per household, you'll have to uh, trade with some friends, I think, for those. All right, next we've got our orange parallels that we got today. So we've got our, Ror our Rory Lob. Rory Lobb, number 170. Jared Lyons, number 91. Jai Simkin, number 17. And our Max King, number 141. So that's all pretty standard. Moving on to our blue parallels. Jack Rewalt. Number 119. LDU. Number 98. And our Jaeger Omira. Not quite sure why this one ended up in a top loader and all the others didn't. Number 26. It's definitely not because of that. On to our one guaranteed green parallel. We got Stephen May. Very nice. Number 9. So still considered a low number, I would assume. We've got our guaranteed box hit of the Taylor Adams Clearance King. A bit of glare there. Can't really get that too well. Uh, not a great number on that one. 118. And then with the very last card from the very last packet, this Platinum Luke Parker Brownlow Predictor. 
very nice. You can see the uh, insignia there of the uh, of the Brownlows in platinum, which is a little bit different. I think the backgrounds are also a little bit different to the standard Footy Stars ones. And we're one number off the jumper number for that one, which is a bit of a bummer. Number 27. Oh, well, that's it, guys. That was uh, that was pretty good. I've got to say I'm pretty happy with that. Um, oh, always great to be opening cards on a Sunday night. Now, I do have another box here. Um, but we might save that one. Uh, we'll probably do another stream maybe next Sunday night or next Sunday day while the footy's on. We can have a little bit of game day chatter and a little bit of banter. Uh, guys, if you haven't already, uh, please remember to uh, hit us up on the socials. We are max underscore power underscore on Twitter. Max Power on YouTube, uh, and we've also got the link down there to our uh, Discord channel, uh, where we post all the hits that um, we get off stream. You know, you go down the server, you pick yourself up a random five packs of cards, and you pull some something cool that you then kick yourself because I wish I'd done it on the stream, which is me. But uh, that's what happens when you have an uh, unhealthy addiction to opening packs of cards. <laughs> so uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. That was really good fun. Um, make sure you follow us on Twitter for any updates on future streams. That's where I post all the links and uh, all the promotional stuff for, um, you know, telling you when we're going to be online next and opening our next box. So uh, without, uh, without me crapping on for too much longer, guys, cheers for hanging out. That was really good fun. And, uh, yeah, I hope all your hits are good ones. Until next time.